Hello, everyone, and welcome to Encouraging Words for School Counselors. I'm Matt Fleck with Inspire Success. I hope you're surviving the start of the school year and all the fun that comes with that. Today, high school counselor Jordan Steiner shares a touching story of one of those extracurricular activities that school counselors sometimes get involved in that often lead to unexpected results. As a prelude, I remember one spring the theater department at my school asked teachers and counselors to help out with a spring musical, which that year was Music Man. And in the spirit of the moment, I said yes, and then not very long afterwards thought, why in the heck did I do this? But it was a great time, and I learned the lyrics of, oh, oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street, and lots of other songs. But I forgot how many hours and hours of rehearsals and dress rehearsals were required, of course, after very, very full, long days of school counseling. But it all worked out well. And those extra hours also paid off for Jordan Steiner, who, as a new school counselor, volunteered to lead a new program at his school called Students in Action. Six students, grades 9 through 12, volunteered to be on Jordan's team, and the very first task of the program was to participate in a full-day state conference in the capital city several hours away. This was completely new to them and new to me. I didn't even know my way around the building, let alone this program. And in order for us to get there on time, we had to leave super early. And uh, super early is well before the 755 bell. And it was a not quite winter day, but it was frosty, cold. And we had a, a, a minibus. And the minibus is not your, your lovely warm car that you can just cruise down there. You can only go 55 in that 10 ice box. And I'll never forget that. But everybody came, every blankets in tow. We made our way down there. And I couldn't tell if um, people were nervous. I could tell that. But they were also still kind of asleep. And so we also didn't know anybody. I didn't know any of the other leaders um, other than the, the overall director who, who came and met us at the school. So we're all just kind of sitting there kind of quiet. But as people started to, to kind of wake up and kind of get um, nestled into the program, it, they got into the, the nitty gritty and started going through the, the program. And our students looked at me. They're like, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. And I said, oh, it'll, it'll be OK. We're going to be in this together. And so we started after Christmas break and they decided it was um, a, a weekend food food sack. So they would have um, a lunch and a dinner for as many people that we could gather food for. The students um, came up with this idea because the school we were at was well over 75 percent free and reduced. And every all six of the members of this group were a part of that. And they said, you know what, this is something that we want to do to serve. And, it, and it's something that kind of touches us at home. And the program relatively quickly became a huge hit. Students in need were picking up lunches and dinners to take home for the weekend. It was clearly filling a need. This was encouraging to myself to kind of see how these students who were barely awake at the conference and we woke up super early led this whole thing. I mean, we had people come into to the office and, hey, uh, this, this food sack, hey, how can I help out with this this project? Um, but it kind of kind of took off and it was kind of subtle as we passed them out because not everyone wants to be known as the person that got a, a lunch bag for the weekend, but we were able to get hundreds of meals out and including spring break, which we had to get that done in a matter of two weeks after everything got approved. And we were able to, we were able to get out of 50 um, throughout the whole week, 50 uh, meals for uh, certain families. So that was awesome. At the end of the school year, the students decided to give an award to their principal, who had really helped them out by cutting through some of the red tape so they could operate the program. But this particular school board meeting was not usual. It was packed because the school corporation was going through state takeover. So not only was it full of parents and community members, but there were newspaper reporters and TV cameras all over the place. When we had our opportunity during the, the, the school board meeting to present our program and what these students had been doing, we presented the principal with the Jefferson Award and he uh, brought tears to his eyes during, during everything and he was so appreciative. We had a, many, many community leaders that were amazed by these, this group of six students that did something basically out of nothing just to serve their student, student body. And as a, as a new school counselor, you kind of don't necessarily know what all is going to go on, but you're there for the students. And when you see students grow in that short of time, that's something that will stick with me through everything. And this time right now, these times are unprecedented. But you know 
students are strong, families are strong, there'll be something that will stick with everybody and it'll be encouraging for them as they move forward. Jordan's story is a good reminder that sometimes we get to know our students better and in deeper ways during those moments where we least expect it. And they, in turn, get to know us in a new, deeper way as well. If you have a story to share, let us know by sending an email to info at inspiresuccess.org or by visiting our website at inspiresuccess.org slash podcast. Have a great week. Oh, oh, oh.